Making a living selling worms for $40 a pound? Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But just how easy or hard is it really? We'll get into that on today's business edition of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is The Urban Worm Company. Worms reproduce really well on their own, and you can sell them for lots of money. So it's pretty reasonable that lots of vermicomposters think, hey, why shouldn't I sell them myself? There's a perceived high reward and perceived low degree of difficulty in starting a worm business. Feed some worms some organic waste, watch them multiply, harvest them, and then sell them for a tidy profit. But as it usually goes, the reality is a lot more complicated. I know because we tried it here at the Urban Worm Company. Let's start with the reasons why you would want to do this. Yes, there is money, lots of money to be made in worm farming. The demand for worms is substantial and spans across sectors like fishing, composting, and even scientific research. Farmers also like worms for protein sources for things like chickens and whatnot. And prices have remained elevated since the COVID surge as well. I don't think the prices for worms are ever going to get back to their pre-COVID levels. Red wigglers, for instance, can sell for anywhere from $35 to $55 a pound before shipping. And when you consider how quickly these worms reproduce under ideal conditions, the math can start to look pretty enticing. In fact, there are a few smart folks who have figured out how to grow lots of worms in very small spaces by optimizing for maximum cocoon production. You know, let's just say it's, it's pretty tedious, but really effective method to make the most worms possible. If you watch to the end, I'll link to a course that helps you do just that, plus give you an offer to get your first batch of pure red wigglers at a discount. Okay, back to the main topic. So yes, there's plenty of opportunity for profit in worm breeding. But once you've got the worms, this is where things get a bit messy, literally. Process of extracting or harvesting worms from their habitat is not as straightforward as you might imagine. The conditions for vermiculture, which is a process of raising the worms themselves, tends to be much wetter than the conditions for vermicomposting. Vermicomposting is wet enough already, and this makes harvesting very difficult. Even with advanced machines like trommel screens, which are basically large spinning mesh cylinders, the material is normally moist enough that it begins to stick to itself and snowball as it tumbles down the length of the trommel. Typically you have the fine stuff that comes out of the bottom and only the coarse material that comes out of the end. What happens is that fine material starts to stick to itself and create these casting snowballs that come out of the end of the trommel along with your worms. So even with a trommel, you might find yourself having to manually pick worms from the end material, which is insanely tedious. Beyond the challenge of harvesting, there's another major hurdle that worm sellers face, which is shipping. Unless you restrict your sales to local pickup, which is also gonna greatly restrict your potential revenue, you're gonna find yourself shipping lots of worms. So let's say you've managed to extract a pound of clean red wigglers. Now you gotta pack them in dry peat moss or coca core, which prevents heat conduction during shipping, but will also dehydrate them. To keep you from feeling ripped off, lots of worm sellers, thankfully, will ship around 20% more worm weight, knowing that the worms are gonna lose that 20% in water weight during transit. So you've got your pound of worms, or maybe your 1.2 pounds of worms packed in dry peat moss. Then you've gotta tie them up securely in a sandbag or a nylon bag, put them in a car cardboard shipping box that you've had to poke holes in for aeration, and stuff with shredded cardboard for padding and more insulation. You get to buy postage now, which will range between about $8 and $13 for that pound of worms. And then, lucky you, you get to hand them to the postal service for the next few days, which may or may not handle them with care. Now don't get me wrong, USPS does better than I expected them to when I started out with this. My shippers actually have really good luck with them. They've actually been better than FedEx in my experience. But let's be honest, the journey from your worm farm to your customer's front door is no easy ride for the worms. Packages get tossed around, crushed, left out in extreme conditions, and every now and then, especially in the summer months, your customers will get packages full of dead worms that put out a truly unforgettable smell. And your customers are gonna let you know about it. And they're gonna admonish you for not shipping them more carefully, as though you somehow didn't wanna do that in the first place. And most worm shippers offer a live guarantee with certain terms and conditions, and you should too. But that means reshipping another pound, which gobbles up whatever profit you think you made on the first sale. So selling worms can be very profitable. And by my estimation, larger sellers like Uncle Jim's are grossing six figures per month on Amazon alone. But if you're looking to chase a dollar doing this, understand that growing worms is only half the battle. In fact, I think it's less than half the battle. Harvesting and shipping are a bigger hurdle than actually growing them. But even after all this warning that I'm trying to give you, if you wanna charge forward growing the most worms you can, even in a small space, I want you to check out a course from my friend Larry. He's a self-taught worm grower, and I've referred lots of would-be business owners to him. At $199, this course that he has isn't necessarily cheap, but the knowledge you gain from it will move you forward light years ahead of where you are now if you're just starting to research this. The course comes with 16 self-paced lessons with videos, downloadable eBooks and worksheets, 
and access to a private Facebook group run by Larry himself. In fact, if the course doesn't work for you, Larry will return your money. So there's kind of no risk. Just click this little link above my left shoulder or check the video description for a link to the course. And if you end up signing up for Larry's course through the link in this video, just email the receipt to me at steve at urbanormcompany.com and I'll give you a unique discount code for 25% off most items on the Urban Worm Company website, which includes the worms you'll need to get started. Guys, I try to keep it real on this channel. I wanna say that there's a big opportunity in front of you if you wanna take it, but I guarantee the path forward is not as easy as many of you think it might be and not as easy as a lot of people online are telling you it is. I've grown the Urban Worm Company into seven figures of revenue, and except for a short time in 2020 when we tried it ourselves, I've done that without growing, harvesting, and shipping worms myself. We've had to find ways to succeed in other ways because it was just something I just didn't have the skill set for. So trying to keep it real here, guys, that's it. We'll see you on the next video.